Ladies and gentlemen, once again, it's your boy, Mr. 945. Y'all know what time it is. All right. So in the spirit of not having to come across as a, a, a Smith and Wesson fanboy, although I am, I had to spread the love to the Glocks. So where I was on this journey was I had quite a few Smith and Wessons, but I, I wanted to go back and try the Glock. My, my first range trip, um, you know, was actually shooting a Glock uh, 19. And when I shot it, got a little bit of side slide biting. They kind of turned me off. But as I continued to, you know, dabble more and more into this firearm journey, looking online, looking on YouTube and, you know, just doing a lot of different research, really got a good understanding of how, you know, popular Glock was and that, at this point, you know, I'm, I've, I'm, I'm a collector, right? You know, so um, not necessarily that I, I needed another Glock or another firearm, but just knowing that, hey, I love shooting and I, I'm, I'm really into the whole firearm deal. So my collection had to have a Glock. And at this point, I'm also, you know, avid lover of nine millimeter and 45 ACP. So I had to go with the Glock 26 extended 12 round mag and the Glock uh, 30. Both are, are Gen 4. And again, you don't want it to keep it subcompact. So <clears throat> went with both of these. As you can see, I did actually put the extended beaver tail option on here. Um, and we'll, we'll do a clear check just for everybody, you know, but nothing in the chamber. Same thing with this one. Clear check. All right. So had to go with the subcompact options. Um, but again, just mainly, you know, keeping a Glock in the, in the, in the collection. So. Um, with that said, I mean, I also have some some PCCs that also take Glock mag. So it was only right that I had to go with the nine and the 45. So that's pretty much about it. Um, also, around this point, I've, I've found just about a lot of well, like all of the different cool websites that you can purchase firearms from. Um, so drop in the comments. What do you all think in terms of, you know, what, what websites do you all use to, to purchase your firearms to? I mean, I, not only do I go through my local gun store, but I mean, searching on places like gun.deals, grab a gun. Um, one that y'all may not know about, but is very good is Battlehawk Armory. I think they're in like Ohio or something like that, but very good. Fast shipping. Um, and... Yeah, so a lot of good places, but, you know, throw out a, a few different uh, sites that you you utilize and you check out in terms of your firearm purchases and um, where you can get some good deals at. But I usually start with gun dot deals. Um, I don't really buy anything off a of gun broker. I just kind of utilize that just to see what the price margins are. But usually I'm, I'm usually using gun dot deals and then seeing what's out there and then, you know, going from there. So. So, yeah. So what sites do you all use? You know, let me know. But outside of that, that's pretty much about it. Glock 26, Glock 30, 945, signing out. Y'all know what time it is. Talk to you on the next round.